wonderful, you know, you know, and I really want to. I saw it. Smokey I, in the I, band. Really, 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 <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, when I wander the halls in Washington D.C., I, I drop the song titles, and they kind of glaze over sometimes. But then they'll, especially when it's a congressman from the South, he kind of gets that look and he goes, "He is Lil Enos for dead, smoking the banner." <laughs> oh yes, sir, I was. And my God, all of a sudden we are partners. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Pat McCormick played my. He loves this story. Pat McCormick was my daddy in the, in the Smoking the Banner movies. Six foot five. I'm five foot two. We don't remember where we met. Our first conscious memory is coming out of out of a bar. It was daylight. You know, we, he was the uh, the the writer of the. You know, he worked for for Carson writing the monologues. You know, so. Bert saw the two of us together, <coughs> evidently, I'm told, you know, that one backstage at the Tonight Show, and he went, you know what, I got an idea, let me give you guys, give, you know, why don't you all come on down to Florida, we're going to shoot this movie, and we'll do this thing, but anyway, Pat McCormick and I have, were great friends all, all of our, all of his life, he passed away, but Pat McCormick, 6'5", and I don't remember when we met, our first conscious memory was coming out of a bar, daylight, and we'd been in the bar all night, and he'd walk out, and he'd, Blinding sun, he offers a lot of shade, which I love, you know. <laughs> so, behind him, you know, like, you know. And, uh, and he looked down at me and he went, you know what, little guy? You look like an aerial photograph of a human being. <laughs> Just, I, I, my God, a mind like that, I just fell in love with him. I said, you know, he said, you know what, he said, I don't know where, I don't know where the hell my car is. You're going to have to help me find my car. I said, I can help you find your car. What kind of car is it? And he went, oh, no, that would be cheating. <laughs> So I love Pat. I love, I love the actors. You know, I started out to be an actor, and you know, my mom was was this little widow lady living in Denver, Colorado, and I and I did a movie called The Loved One, and then I got another movie just like that two years later. And and I did this movie. I worked on it five months. It was called The Chase with Marlon Brando, Robert Redford, and Robert sure. Duvall. Huge movie. And I thought, you know, when this sucker comes out, I'm gonna own the world. I brought my mom out to live with me in this little one bedroom apartment. You know, with up, up, up the top have a little house, a little house in, in the funky side of Hollywood. The movie comes out and I'm not in it. I mean, it's just, you know, it's like, I've got two lines in it. He's going to need a better lawyer and your daddy is one of the lines. You don't, you don't build a career on one line, like, sounded like, only it was more like, he's going to need a better lawyer and your daddy. Puberty's held in your late 20s. You know? <laughs> But on the set of the chase, you know, it's funny. I, I, once again, you know, my, my mom always seems to say, the Lord will slam one door to get you to open another one, you know. And, and uh, on the set of the chase, this guy had a guitar. Mark Seaton was his name. He, and he had a beautiful Martin guitar. And I picked it up and he went, no, 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 no. So I went out and I bought a little guitar, a little saddle guitar. And I started doodling and I just... And all of a sudden, when the movie comes out and everything, uh, this is all the big plans for taking care of mom went out the window, you know. And because uh, the, the phone quit ringing, there wasn't any jobs. Then they took the phone out, you know. <laughs> and, then, and then mom got a job, you know. <laughs> I'm 27 years old. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with my life, but I know that I'm sitting up in my little jammies all night long just pouring this stuff out. And I found, you know, that I've always said there's, th there's three levels of payment for a songwriter. The first one is just keeping from killing yourself because what you're feeling, you find a place to put it, you know. Second one is we make a living at it, which is what we're all working for to keep sure we can still do that. And the third level of payment is heart payment. When somebody comes up to you and they say, this song that you wrote means something to me, you know. When I hear, can I have this dance? I mean, I'm, there's a little place in my heart that just goes, opens up and goes, that's something, that's something so special. And you know, to participate and you know, sit down and have that come out of you, Waylon, that's that's just that's precious. You know, that's the only word for it. It's just it's just stunning. It's that beautiful. So my mom, my mom would get up in the morning and she would, she's a very religious woman. She would say, and she also cussed, but she'd say she'd look at me and she'd go, she'd go, don't worry, my son, God has a plan. And then as she walked off, you'd hear her mumble something like, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 and 
And I said, and when she mumbled, you know, I had to give it. I said, "What's the matter, Mom?" She go, which for her was a word, you know. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. I'm just feeling old, you know. So, so, uh, and she wandered around. I said, "What?" She said, "You wouldn't understand. I'm just feeling old." So, years later, Roger Nichols and I sit down to write a song. He plays me this beautiful melody, and I thought, "What am I going to write about?" And then I remembered my mom. I'm talking to myself and feeling old. Sometimes I'd like to quit. Nothing ever seems to fit. Hang on around. Nothing to do but frown. Rainy days and Mondays always get me down. What I've got. They used to call the blues Nothing is really wrong I'm feeling like I don't belong I've been walking around I'm some kind of lonely clown Rainy days and Mondays always get me down Yeah, funny, but it seems I always wind up here with you Nice to know somebody loves me Yeah, funny what it seems It's the only thing to do Run and find the one who loves me And know what I feel has come and gone before There's no need to talk it out No, we know what it's all about I've been walking around Some kind of lonely clown Rainy days and Mondays Always get me down Some kind of lonely clown Rainy days and Mondays So I'm driving across Europe with my mother And we go from Germany where there are no flowers in the window boxes Into France where there are window boxes full of flowers My mom said, look, there's no flowers in the window boxes in Germany But there are in France And on the radio came Rainy days and Mondays that's as good as it gets for a song. Thank you, everybody. God bless you for turning out tonight.